Okay guys, so welcome to the next episode and in this episode we will create a interaction controller on controller which will be responsible for raycasting and catching all the interactables that are on our scene. So let's first start with adding something to our scene. So I will go to the scene and I will add some simple cube. So let's add a cube and I'll drag it down like this. And I'll add the interactable base script to it that we created. And as you can see, we have few variables. So for example, you have hold duration and I'll set it for example to five seconds. And we have to enable hold interact if we want this to work. And we don't want it to be multiple, multiple use. We will use it one time and it is, it is interactable. And for now, I want to like this is interactable for now is public and it's visible in the inspector but after few lectures like few videos I will make it private and we'll handle the is interactable state inside the code not outside the, like not in the unity editor so let's let's start guys so let's we will leave it right here right now for now and we will right click and we will add a new C sharp script. And this script will be responsible to store our current interactable. So it will be a scriptable object. So we'll write interaction data. And now let's double click on it to open it basically. Okay guys, so let's Start again with the same pattern. So we delete everything that is inside our body. I will add the namespace VHS and I will delete mono behavior because we are not deriving from mono behavior. We are deriving from scriptable object. Let's create asset menu and I will call it file name will be equal to interaction data and the menu name will be the same as the interaction input data that we created before. So let me check quickly. It will be interaction system and let's copy it and let's paste it here and I'll change just the name. So it will be not input data, it will be interaction data. And yeah, so now we have the basic template and now let's start using it. So what we will need. So the things that we will need is uh, reference to our current interactable. So we will create a private variable that will store it and we will write interactable base. So it will store uh, interactable and I'll, let's, I will call it M underscore interactable. And now this will be accessed by the other script. So we make a property. So I, I think that you are starting to getting uh, what I mean, like <laughs> my pattern for everything and I will write get, I want to get interactable and I want to set interactable to some value. So yeah. Next, we want to make few methods that will, that will be used by other script. So basically we will have a controller like interaction, con interaction controller that will communicate between this scriptable object and it will not directly communicate with interactable base it will communicate with interaction data and then interaction data will communi communicate with the interact with the interactable and the reason why I do it is because it's a lot easier for me and I think it's a better ar 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 architecture to, to make it that way, that you have this data and you communicate through data, you don't communicate directly to base. Okay, so uh, the method we want to create is interact. So it will be a public void interact. And here we just want to access the, the uninteract method that is inside our interactable. So we will write M interactable which is our current interactable and we want we want to invoke the method called on interact <clears throat> so this is the method here so this will happen once we call 
this interact so this is the first method and the next one is the bool that will check whether we are uh, whether this new interactable is the same interactable as the previous one because we'll have the interaction controller that will raycast in the world and it will check uh, for all the interactables and for example if I raycast towards the door it will save it it will save the door as my current interactable and it will keep uh, repeating this process and it will keep assigning back the door till I point at it but if we have this method called uh, is same interactable it will only assign it once and if it will be the same interactable next time it checked for interactable it will not assign it again so that's why we have this method called is same interactable and the argument that we want to take in is interactable base so it will take the new interactable so I'll call it new interactable new interactable and we just want to return the result so we want to re return true if those two are the same so this will be true if uh, inter our current interactable <laughs> fuck <laughs> if our current interactable is the same as new interactable otherwise it will retar return false so yeah this is why we need this method and uh, one more trick guys if you have this new c sharp uh like version uh, i love it like i love this new version you if you have this just one one line uh one line methods you don't have to write the brackets you just you can write the lambda expression like this and you don't have to write even the return so if you keep it in one line like this you write lambda expression at the end basically it will work so you have this method that it's in one line and it, it, for me it looks a lot better and it keeps everything more nice and tidy and yeah that's why i like it but it, it depends on you guys but if i have one line like one line methods i i usually do it that way i have this lambda expression so let's add another script another method which is reset data so we will have this void called reset data and what it will do is basically basically it will reset our data so if it will change it to null so it will change our current reference to null and we do it once we interact with something so if we interact it with the doors we don't we no longer uh, care about it so we reset it uh, reset our interactable so we can interact with new stuff and it's one line so I will do the same as the previous line. So I will make it into one line like this. And on interact, after we interact with something, we want to reset our data. So as I said before, we want to reset it. So it's uh, interaction interaction data done. Yeah, I think it's done. So, oh no, I think <laughs> there's one more thing, one more thing, one more bool one more method so we want to add one more method that will check if our current interactable is empty so we'll call it is empty and what it will return is m interactable equals null so if it's equals null this will be true and uh, uh, we want to return the bool not void sorry guys and yeah i will move it up so if our current interactable equals null it will be empty so it will return true so let's move on this is our interaction class interaction data class and now we can start creating the interaction controller okay guys i, I think i will split it because i don't like uh long tutorials and the the next one will be quite long because it's the main like meat of of the interaction system so i will cut it here and i will see you guys in the next one so or one more thing we will do one more thing so let's go back to the unity sorry guys i'm that weird kind of guy like i'm not good guy at teaching but 
someone may find it useful. So I'll go to data and I will right click and we will create this asset that we made before. So if you go to inter interaction system, you should have interaction data. So we create it and we click enter. So we have this two, we have this interaction data here. So we will use it in the next video. Let's save your project guys. And thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.